What's going on, everyone? Yesterday, Grant Williams was on the Long Shot podcast, and he dove into the NBA Finals between the Boston Celtics and the Golden State Warriors. And one of the big things that he talked about that many people are, you know, diving into and are curious as to why he said that is that the Celtics were the better team, but the Warriors were more disciplined. And I wanted to touch on that and of course hear your thoughts and opinions, so make sure you join the discussion down in the comments below. Because personally, I actually believe this. Now, if you go back and look at like my prediction video for the NBA Finals and stuff, I said that exact thing before the final started. I said that I thought that the Boston Celtics had a more talented team, a better overall team, but the Warriors' consistency is what is going to lead them to the championship. Because like Grant Williams said, the Warriors, no matter what, whether they're up 30 or they're down 30, they just consistently do the same thing over and over and over again. They are a well-oiled machine that no matter what, no matter how crazy the game's getting, no matter anything, they are very disciplined. They just, they stick to the game plan. What is the game plan? This is the game plan. Do not get off the game plan. If you do it and you consistently keep going about it long enough, whether you're down 20 or whether you're up 20, you're going to win the game. At the end of the day, stick to the plan. You're going to win the game. And that's what the Warriors are best at. And they've been that team that has done this for, you know, seven, eight years now, right? They've had the same system, the same formula, and it's led to championships and success where the Boston Celtics, that was why I didn't think Boston had a chance of winning this finals is because I thought if the games came close, Boston would fall apart and the Warriors would win. And that's, for the most part, what ended up happening. I mean, Jason Tatum didn't help when he just completely disappeared. But for the most part, like, if you watch those games, Boston, Grant Williams is right. Like, Boston had leads. Boston was, you know, in command in several of those games. And the Warriors just kept being consistent, kept being consistent. And like you said... You know, we turn the ball over three times and then we take three bad shots and all of a sudden the Warriors are winning because that's what the Warriors want. The Warriors are consistent, like, because they know we just, if we just keep doing this, you're going to eventually make a mistake. And once you make that mistake, we are good enough to where we could go from down 10 to up two in three or four shots. Because we have a guy named Steph, we have a guy named Clay, and now we have a guy named Jordan Poole, and this, that, and the other, right? And it's like, so in four plays, we could go from down 10 to up 2, and you're going to fall apart and panic. And that's essentially what happened. I think Because, I mean, Boston had everything on them. They had the sc- size. They had the athleticism. They had, I mean, every, uh, most people were picking Boston to beat the Warriors in the NBA Finals because Boston was just so much bigger, stronger, athletic. Uh, They had the the go-to scorers, all that stuff. They had the star power. Like, Boston was a team that should have beaten the Warriors. Like, just on just the size factor. Like, if you're just looking on the court perspective, you're like, that team is going to smack that team because that team doesn't have anybody over over 6'9". And, like, everyone on that team is over 6'9". And they're more athletic. And they're more skilled. And they're more everything. But the Warriors are just very consistent. And Steph had his, you know, his welcome to the to the NBA Finals moment. You know, I mean, he's been in NBA Finals before. But, you know, he completely took over those games. Where Boston, I mean, we saw the lack of consistency. We saw the panic at times. We saw the youth and lack of experience. And that's why I figured... That they would, I just didn't think they had a chance of beating the Warriors. You know, if you like, for the people that have been subscribed, you know, along the way, I'm sure you remember the videos where I dove in and I just consist, I just said, you know, the the Warriors are probably going to win in six. I wouldn't be surprised if they win in five. Uh, You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to seven, but the Warriors are going to win this series just because they are the more consistent team. They are the team that has the more discipline. They're the teams that don't, don't get off the game plan. And we saw Boston do that over and over and over again this playoffs. Every series. The the Boston Celtics, I mean, they did it against Miami and almost lost. Jimmy Butler was a three away, you know, an in and out three away from sending them home. You know, and it's one of those things where it's like the Boston Celtics would do these things that would make them successful. They would build these leads 
and then they just completely get off of it. They would just stop doing those things, and then the other team would just come back, and all of a sudden, Boston goes from up 15 to they're up one, or they're down five, and you're just like, how did that happen? Like, where did that come from? And it's just because Boston was so inexperienced, they just would constantly make these little mistakes. You know, like like Grant Williams himself said, you know, we turn the you know we, we have a lead, we turn the ball over three times, they go they score all three times, you know. So now we're panicking, you know. So now we're just jacking up threes that we don't need to jack up instead of getting back into the system, you know. So now we take a couple bad shots, Warriors make a couple more baskets, and now they're winning, you know. Like that was the thing. I actually agree with Grant Williams a hundred percent because it's exactly what happened. If you watch the games. It's what happened. And I'm not saying for sure the Warriors wouldn't. Like, let's say Boston was a team that had the experience and they had been there the last, like, seven years, two, or anything like that. I'm not saying undoubtedly Boston would have lost that series but or would have won that series. But I, I just think that they would have had a better chance. And the games that they should have won, they would have won. Like, game four, like, I think Boston would have won that game. It was their lack of discipline. Like, that was a game they should have won. And it was their lack of discipline that got them there. Like once they, once the Warriors won that, it's pretty much over, because you dropped the game that you needed to win that would have been huge for you, would have put this game, would have put this series away, and now and then they just they didn't win a game since, you know. And it's just like that; those little things are the issues. Where I think if Boston would have been in that position and they had the experience, they would have closed that out. They would have done what they needed to do. And we would be having a different conversation. Boston would have likely gotten number 18. Uh, you know, I just, I just think that that, was, that really hurt them. Um, you know, to, to be fair, if I'm being honest, you know, I, don't, I didn't think Boston would have been in the finals regardless. I actually think it would have been Milwaukee. And then that would have been an interesting series. I think that, you know, Chris Middleton was a, w- w- the, uh, the Bucks were Chris Middleton away from beating the, uh, the Boston Celtics. Uh, and then who knows where it would have been at. But the fact that they got there, you know, you have to give Boston credit. And Boston, I wouldn't be, like, it wouldn't shock me if they're there again next year. And hopefully their their experience that they gained will be more beneficial. Hopefully that actually helps them on their, you know, their runs next year. Because this team's young, this team's good, this team's athletic. They're probably really hungry now after, you know, losing in the NBA Finals. That's going to stick with you for some time. You know, and Jason Tatum, I hope he finally wakes up. I mean, he he has just like this unbelievable talent inside of him. He just disappears so much. Like if you could put Jalen Brown's mentality into Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum might be the best player in the NBA in the next like three years. Like he is that skilled in just everything he does. He's got the size. He's just, he's got the footwork. I mean, he's just got the whole, he's got the whole bag. Like do whatever he wants. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. So I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? And do you agree with Grant Williams? I just think that was what the factor was. That's what I I said that that would be the factor before the NBA finals even started, like a week before the NBA final started or whatever it was a couple days before the NBA final started. I said the exact same things Grant Williams said, because it was just obvious. Boston is too predictable. Boston, you know what they're going to do. A lot of Jalen Brown, a lot of Jason Tatum, ISOs, and then, you know, they they when they do make the ball movement and they do swing it around, guess what? They end up scoring, they end up taking leads because they become unpredictable. Because now you don't have to just hone in on those two. You have to hone in on everybody. And more times than not, when Boston gets on those runs, it's because of the ball movement. You know, you see the easy, you see the one, two, three pass, boom, dunk, one, two, three, layup, you know, one, two, three, open three, you know, like stuff like that. They become a lot harder to guard, a lot more, uh, you know, uh, unpredictable. But then something happens and it's like, let's, let's give the ball to Tatum, let's give the ball to Brown, let's let them take bad shots, or then, you know, they kick it out at the end of the shot clock and then the team throws it up. Like that, that was their game plan. Brown, Tatum, Isos, all you have to really do is just guard those two. Once Tatum's out of the picture, you're not gonna you're not gonna lose that game to the Boston Celtics. Like as soon as Tatum became absent, that's it. Like you don't because then now it's just now it's just Brown. 
You know, so that was the thing where the Warriors, it's constant. I mean, they run so many offensive schemes, so you know, so many screens and back cuts, and just it's just it's impossible to to keep up with these guys. You know, and you have a guy in Steph who is more dangerous without the ball than he is with the ball. Like it's it's crazy. It's crazy. But the Warriors just consistently stay at it. They are a well-oiled machine. They just keep, you know, if you stick, here's the game plan. If you stick to it, you're going to win more times than not. Whether you're down 20 or up 20, stick to it. And they do that. And it led to another championship. And I think if Boston would have just kept to the game plan and didn't, you know, venture off of it, maybe they're holding up the championship this year. But anyway, again, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, however you feel about it, down in the comment section below. One last little shameless plug is I did start As It Stands Lakers. Uh, it is a channel just like this, uh, dedicated to only the Lakers, because the Lakers are my favorite team. And on this channel, As It Stands, I talk about all teams, all sports, stuff like that. We have football season coming up, so I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. And I just wanted to make a dedicated channel to the Lakers to give the ins and outs. Now, all the big stuff, all the big news and stuff, I will still post here on this channel. Um, but if you want all the ins and outs and just rumors and theories and just discussions just strictly on the Lakers, uh, link down in the description or in the comment section. Go check out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.